Hey folks, I'm Aaron and welcome back to RBB. We're excited to bring you more new content. If it's your first time here, consider subscribing so you don't miss out. Now, if you've been following along this journey into minimalist holsters so far, you'll know that my reviews are meant to cover three basic areas of the holsters in less than five minutes. Those three points are build quality, modularity and usefulness, and finally, value, or what you get for what it costs. Moreover, I pay full price for each holster I review so that the insights I give are my honest opinion. Now, when I offer a review, it's not just for prospective customers, but in the cases of poor quality products, it's for the manufacturers as well. It doesn't mean the company is incompetent, just that if I didn't get the crappy product, then you might have been stuck with it. Today, I'm reviewing the Wholeguns.com Extra Low Profile Thong Ambidextrous Minimalist Holster. Anytime you hear thong and holster in the same title, people's minds start to wander. And I was a little intrigued myself, but I assure you it's not that kind of thong holster. I have to say that when I first saw this item online, it had a sleek look and interesting features. The build quality of the extra low pro thong holster in many ways is good. The holster wraps around at the muzzle and covers the front sight. It's notable that there is space inside the front sight cover to accommodate most suppressor height sights. In addition, the belt clip is also made of polymer and offers a 15 degree cant in either direction. Having said this much, there is one significant downside to this holster that makes it a product that I cannot recommend. As with most holster trigger guard and minimalist holsters, there is only one place where it secures to the gun, and that is at the trigger guard. This means that the lockup around the trigger should at least be strong enough for basic human movement like walking, sitting, simple twisting at the waist, and handling the occasional jostling that goes along with daily life. Otherwise, the gun can quickly separate from the holster inside your clothing. That is exactly what a good holster is not supposed to do. Unfortunately, the whole gun's extra low pro thong holster has a very poor lockup. In fact, it is so bad in this version that I was reduced to testing it with a blue gun only because I deemed it unsafe to carry a loaded firearm. In cases where the gun gets bumped, say while leaning up against a counter, or should you have to carry a bag or box in front of you with two hands, if you're using this holster, there is a very real possibility that the gun can shift away from the holster and become loose inside the belt line. As far as modularity, this holster really doesn't offer any. That means no claw to help hide the butt of the gun and no cordage to use as a lanyard in cases where you just need the holster to act as a trigger guard with anchor while in a protective bag. The price point on this holster, if it could have been recommended, is good at about $27 in 2023 money. But again, until the trigger guard tension is vastly improved, the best value is to not buy this product at all. If you have any questions or comments, feel free to leave them down below. Thanks for watching, and we'll catch you right back here on ranges, backstops, and berms.